What's up lovely people? So this is like one of the only vlogs where you're actually going to see my face because I am ready to go out. <laughs> I'm going to see uh, the doctor really soon so I'm hoping this will be the last appointment in the current health saga and then I'll get the all clear after this and we'll be good to go. But for today I have another test I've got to do and uh, we will see how that all goes. But I'm actually ready quite early. I've got like an hour and a half ish, maybe a bit less now until I need to leave. Um, but I just kind of don't want to f focus on work right now. So I'm actually going to spend the next little while just doing something I enjoy, which is reading. So I've just started this one today and I've got a big smudge on it. It's not very nice, is it? But anyway, it's all right. The Night Circus. So this one looks really fun. I have an obsession with like circuses and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know a lot of people find them creepy. I don't like, I don't like like circus and clown stuff that is purposefully creepy, but just in general, I just love it. Like I've always loved clowns and like, I used to really love drawing sad clowns and things like that. I just think they're so beautiful. Um, so there's a deck out actually that is based on this book and I like the deck, but I don't love it. Uh, but it's one that I saw, right? And then I found out through looking at the deck that it was based on this book. So the author is, you know, gone ahead and made a tarot deck. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the book. And if I fall in love with the book, then I'll get the deck, right? Because the artwork is nice, but it's not like I'm not loving it. You know, it's a black and white deck and very like it's circus themed and um, it's cool, but it's not like the exact thing that I want. You know what I mean? So anyway, so if I love the book, then I know that I'll connect with the cards really deeply. So that's what I'm doing. I thought I would take this one. This is my accompaniment <clears throat> for today um, at the doctor's office. So I'm hoping I don't have to wait too long to get in and see her. But if I do, at least I'll have some good hey company. Guys. So today is finally the day. I'm going to begin going through my books, organizing them and recategorizing them <laughs> and moving them around. So I've decided to... Um, mix them in with a few more curios and different bits. Um, I'm actually going to mix them in with my apothecary as well. So I've been meaning to do an apothecary tour. A few of you have asked, but I just kind of, I don't know, just logistically, I'm just not sure how to do it. I sort of started filming and then I was like, oh, I don't know. So I might move everything around and then show you afterwards I think <laughs> I think that's gonna be the plan my altar needs redoing um, I've got a working happening at the moment so I've got the last installment if you will today to do for that once I have I can clean all that mess up and redo the altar as well I've got a few bits that are going to be going on the new altar I think down there I just reset up this space the other day so I've got a new piece of furniture there a fresh altar this is my, my main station. So I'm drinking green juice this morning. So um, I'm on a big health kick. So um, this morning I am drinking celery, cucumber, zucchini, lemon, ginger, green apple, and carrot. Oh, and kale. There's a witch's brew in there. Check that shit out. Anyway... So I just thought I will bring you along, I guess, for a little bit of the giant process. I feel like I'm going to regret beginning, <laughs> um, but it's been a long time since I have. Um, I just hate my space being in chaos, and I know that once I start, it's going to take a while. I'm quite tired today as well. I had a really big night last night, so it's just a slow Saturday. There's Bear looking sad. Why is he sad? You want to go for a walk. This is my progress so far. So I've got quite a few piles happening. I didn't know how to do everything. So I'm just kind of seeing at the moment. So this is what we've got happening on the floor. I have a few more on my desk that need dealing with. This is what the shelves look like now. Hello. Hey, sweet girl. <laughs> Hello. Mm, 
precious girl. Yo, Dusty, where you been? <laughs> There's three kitties on that couch. Can you spot the third? I can only see his butt. <laughs> Excuse me. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> it's bath time. It's bath time, little baby girl. Hey, it's bath time. I'm spending a lot of time in this spot at the moment. Recently, I got this lounge room in a state where I'm just really enjoying it. My kitty girls are all here. Vegeta's off in another room. It's Sunday, we're just chilling. It's a beautiful day. Everyone's out and about. I'm just doing some journaling at the moment and some reading. I'm reading this awesome book, which I heard about forever ago. Um, Samantha Menzo actually um, recommended it. So I will link her channel down below. Samantha has a great, or Sammy has a great channel. Um, she talks a lot about astrology and other cool witchy things. But um, she mentioned this book. I don't know if it was on her channel or if it was on her podcast, but it's really, really good. It's the st story essentially of Ursula before she became Ursula. So everyone's got different names and things like that. Um, but yes, I am just, I'm up to page 269 and uh, I am going to be finishing the rest of it today because it's so good. I'm just absolutely loving it. I'm reading a lot of fiction again at the moment. I used to read tons of fiction. Excuse all the cat hair on the table. Oh my God, so gross. You can look at my beautiful tea set while I'm talking. <laughs> I used to read a lot of fiction and then over the last few years, I haven't read anywhere near as much. I've been really focused on nonfiction, on um, magical books specifically, witchcraft books and, you know, adjacent topics. Um, but I recently had a health scare and I don't know if I've shared this at all or not. I've been filming lots of little vlog bits, so I don't know what I've said, but I recently had a health scare and it made me kind of reconsider things. And I thought, okay, like if I was told from the doctors um, that I only had a few years left, right, just hypothetically thinking it was a pretty serious health scare, I was like, what would I want to do with my life, with my time, you know, like would I regret anything, you know, what are my kind of thoughts around this? And the first thing I realised is I wouldn't regret my life. Um, I am actually quite happy with how my life is going and I think that's a pretty incredible thing. Um, I'd be very, like I wouldn't have regrets about things that I hadn't done, you know, so that was really cool. And I also realised that I probably wouldn't read a whole lot of fiction, uh, non-fiction, excuse me, anymore. Mostly I'm doing that for my career's sake, you know, to learn um, so that I can teach because that's a passion that I really have. Um, you know, to learn more and further myself for my career, essentially. What I would want to do is I would want to read a lot more fiction again. I would want to spend my days reading. So um, that was a very interesting kind of realisation. So um, I was like, you know what? Well, I don't have to wait till I'm fucking dying, right, till I take this up again if it's a passion that I truly have and something that I enjoy so much like I should be doing it more so since that time um there has been good news I'm fine I'm not dying so that's great um but I also uh yeah I've just been reading way more fiction again and absolutely loving it so 
Anyway, I'm getting through at the moment like a fiction book a week <laughs> and I haven't been reading as much non-fiction. I'm still reading it, of course. Um, I still really enjoy those books, but yeah, I've been giving a lot more time to my fiction. So, and I've been spending a lot of time in this room reading said fiction. So it's just a really lovely space and um, yeah, I feel very, very grateful. You can't really see my bookshelf there. That's some of my favorite fiction books over there. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. What's Hello. up you guys? Okay, I'm just doing like a quick little thing. I just wanted to tell you, I wanted to share the exciting news. So I just got back from the doctors and I have a clean bill of health. So the big scare that I was talking to you guys about was cancer. So I had a breast cancer scare I had to go see a couple of different doctors and I've just been back from the breast specialist and she's given me the all clear. So we are good. We are golden. We are not cancerous. Oh my God. I didn't even realize how much of that I was still carrying around because um, I'd had a previous test before an ultrasound and it was clear, right? So at that point I was like, okay, it's, it's all fine. But my doctor was like, look, we'll just get, you know, a second opinion just in case. I was like, yep, no worries. Um, but I didn't realize I was still carrying it. Like I had already felt like, oh, it's all good, you know, but evidently not because I'm feeling so good now that this is all done and we are all good. So I just thought um, <clears throat> while I was here with you that I might open, I've got a couple of packages. So eh, just a little Amazon, a little, oh, I hope I didn't show my address. That'd be annoying if I did. I'll have to blur it out. <laughs> somehow. So I thought I might just show you. I don't know if it's anything you would find interesting. We will see. Oh yes. Sea Witch Rising. Yay. I told you guys about this one. Oh, I'm so excited. I just started um, another book today, which I guess will be in this vlog. I don't know where they're all going. Probably. <laughs> so I'll probably read this one next because it's so good. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. All right. And let's see what this little Package. Oh yeah, of course I know what these are. They said to me they come today. So I wanted to get some nice um, bottles to put my hand soap and dishwashing liquid into on my kitchen window. It's quite a nice sort of little window. So I went ahead and got these. I thought they were really, really pretty. I've realized my style because I was trying to figure it out the other day, right? Because I was watching the Lady Grave Dancer and she has a very distinct style, right? And I was like, I love her style, but it's not my style. Like, what's my style? I don't know. I was like, I wish I had just like a defined style, but I've realized my style is colorful and whimsical. That's what I, I think like that's my style. Also, uh, just yesterday, I'm so excited. I received in the mail the metaphysical cannabis oracle. So I was so excited. I've been, I've had my eye on this for months and um, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Like, I really like it. I love, like, love the artwork, right? I'll show you the cards while I'm talking. Um, this is the back. They're so pretty. They're so many. Oh, and they match my nails. It's like I planned it. I didn't really plan it. Um, so the artwork just sold me. Like I was like, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. Like the colors, like you guys know, I'm into like saturated, full color, love it. So then I saw a couple of unbox, actually I saw one unboxing and I was like, you know what? Yes, I need the deck. I need this fucking deck in my life. And the only unboxings I've seen are people who don't, like people who aren't into cannabis. <laughs> So they're like, uh, I don't really love it that much. Like they're tarot people. So they get the deck for free or whatever, you know, to review. Um, although actually one person I saw did actually like the deck, but the other people, as far as I can tell, weren't particularly fond of the deck. Um, so I thought what I would do is I would actually use it for a little while. And then I wanted to do like a video on it. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, let me put it closer. Oh, where are you? There you are. It's just so beautiful anyway it has like a whole system so it is an oracle as it says but it has um the major arcana in it so it's got the tarot major arcana and then it's got four other of its own suits um so it's yeah it's interesting 
and then it's got like a system you can use in there. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that, um, you guys, and I'll be seeing you around again soon. <laughs> I just got this new carpet. Bellatrix is like, oh my god. What's that baby? What is it? Oh my goodness. This is to sit, um, it's like a water drippy catcher thing below the sink. <laughs> Where's that? Oh my goodness. Anyway, start to make it look pretty. Oh, and I'll show you, I just got this the other day isn't he cute I don't know if he'll stay there but for now that's his spot this kitchen needs a serious makeover we are planning look at my fucking backyard look at all this shit out there we are planning to renovate everything so it's all just as it is right now but anyway new carpet yay I'm just having a play with the metaphysical cannabis oracle and i did miss miss speak <laughs> miss speak um it's actually five other suits so the difficult thing with this deck is that there's no markings on the cards to differentiate suits so um i'm assuming as i get to know it better Vegeta, do you mind he wants i've just had tuna so he wants my tuna excuse me excuse me sir I'm trying to show the people something. Anyway, so I wanted to show you the suits. So there is the Meta Arcana, it's called, which is the Major Arcana. So these are um, obviously cards that are based off the tarot. So this one is the Empress. I know some of them I aren't, I'm not sure of just by looking at them, but um, this is Strength card. I, sh I think this is the Lovers. Um, this is the Hermit card. The Hermit card's always one of my favorites in a deck. Isn't that fucking gorgeous oh my god i can't even the star um the devil actually i probably know all of them to be honest just by looking at them but i wasn't sure when going through the deck you know so then we also have the <clears throat> the cannabis uh sorry no this is the physical wait have i stuffed them up no this is yeah yeah this is the physical suit <laughs> here so it's just i love this card future love letter i love you so these are a few of the cards here and then we have the cannabis suit so there's like a special way to read them with the different suits which is why i've just separated them now i thought i would give their spread a go um where you choose you know the seven uh positions and depending on the position you choose from a different suit and then this is the oracle suit so we have a lot of um spirit um spirits in this suit here um i did see on the unboxings that a few people felt that santa morte was really out of place in this deck but i mean how can you even go past how gorgeous this card is seriously so it is like she is the only mexican um saint or spirit that's in this deck but hey like i kind of like that this creator has made it like very personal to her um like there's it seems a little um kind of what's the word like bits and pieces -y, but i dig it like i really like it um so yeah these are just some of those beautiful cards and then we have the integration suit so show you some of these cards some of these cards are so pretty i have i wanted to show you the divine oh look at this one mm. the divine feminine i think that was one of the first ones i got no i love this heart one as well oh sorry i'm trying to do this like while looking through the camera unconditional love so beautiful where is the divine feminine card i think that's it there no i don't know she's in here somewhere <laughs> Anyway, it's a cool card. I'll show you some other point. And then we have the, what was this one called? Oh, the culture um, 
the culture suit. This one reminds me of my friend Monica. I love that card. So some just some beautiful look at these cards look at the colors like i just can't even so beautiful anyway so i should be working right now but instead i'm playing with my new deck and i'm gonna do a reading for myself ah <laughs> uh, i'll just work late tonight i guess <laughs> is it a spider get him Bear, you're ruining the game. You're ruining the game. Are you gonna get the spider? Teddy bear. How can you even handle it better? Oh, no. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, it's a garden spider. It's not going to hurt bear. Or August, for that matter. She's annoyed that Bear's there. She's like, I was playing with that spider till his stupid face came. <laughs> she don't like the dog. <laughs> Bear, you have a spider on your foot. Now it's gone. Is it kitty cuddles? Mm, kitty cuddles. What's up you guys? Okay, so I wanted to do a little update on the deck. I wasn't going to do it this way, but I wanted to upload it into a vlog and I'm about to do that now. So I was like, you know what? Let's do the final installment. Um, I just want to go through, well, the next installment, let's say that, of this deck. So, the first thing I want to say is... That I'm absolutely loving the cards. I thought I'd just like, maybe we just like flip through while we talk about them so you can get a better feel. Oh, it's upside down, yes. A better feel for the deck itself. Now, the issues that I've run up against with this deck um, are all about the guidebook. So I've found the cards incredibly intuitive. So when I'm doing readings with these, like I'm picking stuff up. Um, the artwork really works for me. <clears throat> and I know it's different for everyone, right? Like you're going to connect with different decks. I really connect with this one. So I have no issues with the cards. Um, there are, as I said, uh, six suits in this deck and none of them are like numbered or color coded or anything so that makes it difficult but I'm almost digging it because I'm liking the deck so much because it just means that I'm getting to know them so much better so I've got to use my own wits you know to be able to recognize them all um so I mean I don't think that's a great thing to kind of expect in a deck I suppose but that is the oracle kind of style I suppose as well anyway so I'm loving that um the guidebook for oh, you guys. Um, so, so many of the cards that I've come across, like I haven't read every single card in here, but I've read probably a good 20, 25 at least, I would say, maybe more. So many of them don't make sense. Uh, just the language is quite odd. Like it just doesn't really, you're like, what are you talking about? So I think what has happened is that this guidebook was written first, 
and then the cards were created and then no one ever went back and edited the guidebook. So there's a lot of references to things that aren't even in the card. Um, it'll just be like, oh, this person's holding three of these things. And you're like, this person's holding one of those things. Like it just, or like they talk about a thing that's in the card. It's not in the card at all. So there's a lot of stuff like that that doesn't make sense. But also just the way she's written a lot of things, you're like, what? What am, what are you talking about? Um, and sometimes like the sentences just run out. Um, at least one time I've seen that it, the the whole paragraph that whole page ends on an and, so I don't know what else is supposed to say. Um, so there's a lot of issues with the guidebook, and I believe from the other videos that I've seen because I've watched a couple of others of the unboxings and sort of thoughts on this deck. Um, the issue that people have is with the guidebook, right? Like, there's a lot of missing information, like, um, one of the suits is Oracle, and so it actually, that's, um, a, a deck that focuses on specific spirits, and there's really not much at all for you to go on. Like, half the time, you know, the description is, like, half the sort of little paragraph that's devoted, um, let me just show you. So this is showing you about how much information is per card. Some of them are less. Um, but half of that sometimes is just on the description. So she's wasting half that space just telling you what you're seeing in the card. If indeed it is even what you're seeing in the card. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's a real shame. Because um, the deck, the artwork is so fucking gorgeous. And, like, just look at it. Like, I mean, oh my god, it's amazing. But the guidebook really, really lets it down. So that's such a shame. Um, I just, like, I really think that whoever was responsible of editing this is to blame. Um, it could have absolutely been written better. But I think what it just needed was that second draft. Like, I just feel like it was, like, sort of almost a first draft, you know. And it never was revisited again. Um, as someone who kind of writes and edits um, as part of my job, like, yeah, I can kind of recognize that, you know, <laughs> like it just, it just needed some serious fucking editing. Um, so yeah, that's a real shame. So I'm hoping that after all of the criticism they've received, that they'll redo the guidebook, um, maybe add in as well, like I said, some identifiers so you can see which suit is which, um, maybe some numbers and things like that. But, I mean, the artwork, there is no fault. Like, it is just absolutely divine. Look at that. Like, we planned it. Absolutely divine. Ooh. That's the one I was wanting to show you the other day, the Divine Feminine. You can see, like, the cards are just unbelievable. But like I said, they read really well. Like, I'm finding um, intuitively already I'm feeling very comfortable with the cards that come out. There are specific, um, again, this is one of the oracles, oh yeah, there are specific spirits that are mentioned, and unfortunately the guidebook just doesn't, that I've seen for the cards I've pulled so far, it's not a good base, um, unfortunately, but the names are there, so it can be looked up. Now, something else I've seen, I haven't double-checked this for myself yet, but one of the other criticisms is apparently some of these words... Uh, well, at least the people who have tried to find them can't find them. So they don't know, like, what language they're from or what they mean. Because, again, it's not in the guidebook. <laughs> like, you'd think, like, if this is the main word we're using, like, you'd tell us what it means. But there's none of that. Not even, like, where the word comes from. Anything. There's no reference to it um, in any of the, the descriptions that I've seen. So that's really frustrating. Um also, it's a bit weird, like, at the start, she's got... So, what I will say, the guidebook is really good for finding the cards. So, it has this card index page, and all of the cards are written in alphabetical order. So, it makes it really easy. If you pull a card, you can just quickly see, you know, where is it, what page is it on, okay? And quickly flip there. Now, the thing is that the guidebook, like... So, it's organized into the different suits, but it isn't easy to see what the suit is. So you just flick to a page and you don't know what suit you're in, right? But what you can do is cross-reference and then on the first page right here, you can see these are the different suits and what page they're on. So you can, you know, quickly look and go, okay, I'm looking at Oya, 91. So 91, so between here, so she's an oracle. 
you know, so anyway, so it's a little bit more work, but I think that's fine, and I get that for a guidebook, like, some people want these, like, elaborate guidebooks and, like, whatever. I think most of us, though, move away from the guidebook fairly quickly, like, it's good to have a good guidebook, especially when you're getting to know a deck, especially if it's a deck that's more oracle or, you know, not your classic kind of, um, writer tarot or whatever, but yeah, it, it, does lack and it is a real shame because it's such a beautiful deck so yes definitely the editors um are a big 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 part to blame because like there's even references in here where she's got things titled and it sounds like she might be referring to a specific card but there's no card called that in the deck so I think there have been name changes all kinds of stuff and then it was just never reworked again after the artwork was done which again, super annoying because this artwork deserves the best, like absolutely the best guidebook. So it's something that can be fixed. I hope they will because I mean, everything about this deck is beautifully crafted. Like the, the card stock is just gorgeous. It's thin enough, it's flexible, but it's like, it feels, um, it doesn't feel like it's going to be, um, you know, breaking down anytime soon, you know? Like, it's just, yeah, the cardstock's awesome, artwork's fucking amazing, um, love the premise, that was the other thing I was going to talk about, so one of the, one of the, um, suits is the cannabis suit, right, and she does tell you at the start, there's a little synopsis, like, of what each suit is about, da 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 I haven't actually read all of this, so I still need to read about, like, her beginning, like, what the vision of the deck is and all that kind of stuff. It's only been a few days that I've been getting to know this deck, so forgive me for not knowing all the things. But um, in the cannabis suit here, well, this is what it says. I'll just quickly read it to you. These cards are the Oracle's Guide to Consumption. These cards can guide you through a consumption ritual with the plant spirit in a variety of ways. This will include knowing the strength of your dose, what to do if you take too much, and getting familiar with the endocannabinoid system within your nervous system. There's none of that in this deck. Like, there's none of that, literally. Like, there's nothing in the guidebook. There's nothing, there's nothing like that. <laughs> it's all just, like, really, really general, kind of, um, like, very light interpretations. So I have found, with this deck, the best thing to do has been to pull the cards intuitively get whatever I'm getting from them, visit the guidebook. Often I'll get a couple more keywords, like it will round out a little bit, it will puff up my reading slightly and be like, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, but then I need to go more deeply in with intuition again. Like it's just, the guidebook just doesn't give you much. Um, and I'm only using it while I'm getting to know the deck. I'm not a big um, like I said, guidebook person anyway, even if I am using an Oracle deck, I usually, you know, I make it, yeah, I have my own relationship with the deck, you know, but it can be nice if you've got a good guidebook, it's great to be able to dip in and see that for yourself too, but anyway. So this is a flip through of the deck, like I said, I'm absolutely loving it, I think the guidebook lets it down, which is a real shame, uh, but I do think the deck is worth it for its own merits. Yes, you've got to do your own work outside of the deck, uh, outside of the guidebook, a lot more than other decks, but I mean, the artwork, right? <laughs> like, how can you go past it? And like I said, for me, it reads really well. If you're not into cannabis, it might not be for you. This is the interesting thing I found a lot of, actually, I think, like, well, everyone I've watched that has done an unboxing, like, they're not appreciators of cannabis. Like, they are not the target audience. So I feel like a lot of them complain about cannabis itself as well. Like, they're giving a negative review on cannabis <laughs> as they're giving a negative review on the deck. So, uh, yeah, I find that a little bit redundant. But um, the other thing that has happened, I'll quickly tell you guys, is that there has been a lot of drama around this deck. Um, I don't know any of it firsthand. I'm not going to repeat it. You can go and watch people's videos though. Like just look up the metaphysical cannabis Oracle deck and you'll find a bunch of stuff on YouTube, but there's been drama. Apparently the creators, um, quite upset that a lot of people are not liking the guidebook. Cause that's, that is what most people are complaining about, but you know, the deck, um, and has been, 
very forthcoming about that on people's social media. So that is a real shame. So there is drama around this deck. Um, I'm not getting involved in that. I don't know the things, but as I said, you can, if you're hungry for drama, you can go look some of that up for yourself. <laughs> But this was just, yeah, this is just my sort of thoughts on the deck um, to this point. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that before I uploaded the clips of the, you know, where I'm just like, oh my god, this deck! Because yes, I still feel that way. But also, there are some sour notes for this deck as well, which is just breaks my heart. Because, yeah, this deck is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This top shelf is coming along really well. I really love the way that feels with the books up there. So I was going to change around the whole apothecary as well, but I think I might actually leave it the same. Like I actually do like the way that it's organized. I need to go through and dust everything. Um, it's due for its half yearly dusting. So I will be doing that, but um, I think I'm just going to leave it the same. I was going to do it so there was like books in between. Um, so the way I've got it organized at the moment is A across here through to L and then M through to Z and other little bits and pieces. So that's kind of the way I've got it organized and I think that works for me. So yeah, anyway, this is the top. It's looking good. All right, here's the end result probably for today. Um, so these books at the top here, I'm going to split up a little more to sort of fill in the space here. But these are all the different little sections that I have of books now and I'll order those into colour to make them look much nicer but not today probably. So um, I've got my desk back which is very nice so I'm actually going to copy out some quotes now so the book that I'm currently copying out quotes from is this one by Katrina Rasbold. It's really really good. Um, I definitely recommend this one for any uncrossing work, you know, cleansing, that kind of thing, removal of energies or magics that you don't want on you. <laughs> that would be the kind of book. Um, so the other ones are here. These are the other ones that are waiting for me to copy quotes out of. So that's this shelf. Looking pretty good. And then the top one I think I already showed you. Um... That's what that looks like. So, I'm very happy with today's progress. Hurrah! We did it. Look at this. Is she very sleepy? My baby girl. Oh, my darling. Very sleepy baby girl. <laughs> She's on her little hammock on Kitty Tower. So cute. And then over here, look at this. It's all of the others. <laughs> Are they all being nice today? None of them get along super well. August and Bellatrix do. Um, but Vegeta and Roxy are a bit standoffish with everybody. The sunshine brings us together. <laughs>